What's good, YouTube? The Purple Master right here. Bringing it back to roots. Bringing it back, man. All that YouTube ID content flagging new stuff they got with that algorithm robot thing, man. I don't know. I haven't got any flags on my videos yet. Um, I know I have like probably like 380 videos. Um, which I, even if I go back and try to change them, they won't probably, you know, make a difference. If they get flagged, and if I, have, if I have to take them down, I don't want to, but I will. So, you know, if you ever see any videos for any reason in the future reference, um, you know, yeah, if they, they get taken down, then yeah. I know, I, I know it's been some videos where I have had people... You know, I've played with their remixes in the background, and I haven't given them credit. But I'm saying this now. I don't own any music that is played in any gameplay video. In any video that I do. So, I'm just stating that right now. But anyway, moving on um, to the main topic. Somewhere up there. Y'all reading it, but... um. We're talking about Tekken Cross Street Fighter, man. Um, and to make try to make this video quick, uh, I kind of have a lot to read. Actually, no. But, um, alright, yeah. We're going to talk about the current status of Tekken Cross Street Fighter. And what's going on with Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Tekken Cross Street Fighter cancelled. Yes, says Elite says leaked announcement fact with nearly one year since the last official announcement about the upcoming Namco fighter it's no wonder fans have begun to ask themselves increasingly worried questions does Tekken Cross Street Fighter have a release date is Tekken Cross Street Fighter canceled has Tekken Cross Street Fighter become vaporware well question no more Last week, Top Tier Tactics broke into Namco Bandai's headquarters in Shinigawa, Japan to uncover the answer to all three of these pressing queries. The answers are no. Tekken Cross Street Fighter does not have a release date. Yes, Tekken Cross Street Fighter is canceled. And yes, Tekken Cross Street Fighter has become vaporware. Seem anticlimactic? Don't fret. After knocking out four guards and perfectly ghosting their main offices, and agents made it out the building with an as-of-yet unpublished press release. Slated our dissemination next month. The document, which is apparently a draft written by Tekken producer Katsuhiro Harada himself, outlines the reasons for Tekken Cross Street Fighter's cancellation. It also reveals several stunning facts about the game's development that offer further insight into this stunning revelation. A leaked Tekken Cross Street Fighter cancellation. Dear Tekken fans, Street Fighter fans, and fans of senseless crossover fighting games everywhere, it is a heavy heart today. It is with a heavy heart today that Namco Bandai announces the cancellation of Tekken Cross Street Fighter. While we know several dozens of you have been anxiously awaiting this ultimate action, limitless fighting spirit title, we are currently ceasing all development on Tekken Cross Street Fighter and scrapping all assets of a variety of fiscal, organizational, and fiscal reasons. As executive producer, I know I speak for everyone at Namco Bandai. Let me make sure the camera's right. When I say this, this when I say this decision was not made lightly, quickly, or darkly, parentheses, translation. For this reason, the Tekken Cross Street Fighter development and design teams have attached the following fact to your FAQ, you know, just in case y'all, to answer the, your questions. Please read it, consume it, and enjoy with much satisfaction the knowledge and serenity of these answers contains we once again thank you our founders our funders for your continued purchasing of our games and of publicly 
traded stock in the Namco Bandai Corporation. Tekken Cross Street Fighter FAQs frequently asked questions. Why is Tekken Cross Street Fighter canceled? Honestly, we never really planned to develop Tekken Cross Street Fighter to begin with. But the guys at Capcom called us up and said, hey, we're about to, to announce this game, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. You can either sue us and look like a-holes, they actually said the word, or you can just pretend you agreed to or you can or you can just pretend you agreed to it and smile for the camera. We didn't appreciate these bully tactics, but at the time but at the same time we had to save face for complex Japanese reasons even we don't understand. So Harada told the board at Namco Bandai that our development and creative teams would be completing Tekken Cross Street Fighter in tandem with the Street Fighter Cross Tekken release. But really he was crossing his fingers the whole time behind his back, so it really didn't count. <sighs> when was the decision to cancel Tekken Cross Street Fighter made? Once it began, once it became clear that gamers, the media, Cap and Capcom actually expected us to create a game called Tekken Cross Street Fighter, we were all very nervous. After all, it is well known that the Tekken series was never very good. I disagree with that. Now we had to create a game where players could directly compare our bland characters and stale fighting mechanics to that to that of the Street Fighter universe. This was a daunting task. Regardless, we set out to live up to our promises because we knew if we didn't Tekken fans everywhere would be angry and nobody in our Shinigawa offices wanted to spend the time necessary to answer up to 30 sternly written letters. We called in hundreds of freelancers, contractors, and full-time artists and coders to plan out the greatest fighting game ever made, Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Unfortunately, switch arms for a second. Unfortunately, we hit stumbling blocks almost immediately. First, a marketing intern from Sho Shuji, Shoji, um, guess that's how you say it. That's probably a Japanese city. Prefecture brought up the excellent point that it would be very, very difficult to portray Giles' hair in three dimensions. After much debate and four layoffs, we ultimately decided to simply exclude the character Giles from Tekken Cross Street Fighter. My bad. But then in a March 2012 strategy meeting, one of our artists, Takani, said something like, how will players use the Hadouken attack or other important Street Fighter projectile attacks when the opponent can simply sidestep it? The meeting room was silent, and after six hours of quiet, we had no answer. The entire board resigned in shame, and the project was blacklisted. What platforms was Tekken Cross Street Fighter being developed for? With all due respect, the Tekken Cross Street Fighter team took a drastically different approach to the, the development than the Idiots, they crossed that out. Our esteemed partners at Capcom, please understand, Capcom showed the release t Street Fighter Cross Tekken on current generation consoles. Excuse me. This short-sighted decision allowed Street Fighter and Tekken fans to actually play the game they had heard about and were so, and were so eager to try out. For months now, fighting gamers had have had the community. No, not bad have had the opportunity to op to watch, practice, learn, and even compete in the matches of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. This was a huge tactical error. The Namco Bandai marketing de department advised the Street Fighter Cross Tekken team that such a release would greatly hamper interest for our title. Therefore, we began development on next generation on next next generation consoles in order to ensure our advertising specialists could build hype for Tekken Cross Street Fighter as long as possible. As such, our developers were working in secret with manuf hardware manufacturers to complete Street Fighter, to complete Tekken Cross Street Fighter for the following gaming platforms. PlayStation 5, Xbox P or Xbox Pi, Steam Machine Omega, Wii Wii, 
and Mac. All versions were slated for release in early 2019 to late 2020. However, all resources were depleted before initial console adaptation could begin in earnest. And there's another question where um, a fan asked, I'm assuming, which is out off topic. When will the next DLC for One Piece Pirate Warriors be released? Thank you for your thoughtful question. We're happy to announce that the next DLC pack for One Piece Pirate Warriors will be released as soon as next month in Japan and US re USA regions, then two weeks later in all remaining digital distribution re regions. We know that One Piece Pirate Warriors fans are clamoring for more anime-inspired content, and they won't be disappointed with Ready, Set, Booty Call. The last DLC set for this adrenaline packed title don't miss it what will be done with the assets already created for Tekken Cross Street Fighter in April 2012 we Namco we at Namco Bandai stated that nearly 10% of game assets had been completed what most consumers did not realize at the time was that this was a lie in reality our artists had completed less than 2% of all materials needed for Tekken Cross Street Fighter to be more specific they kind of just finished sketching Sea Viper's cleavage. When the executives, when the executive producers learned that Tekken Cross Street Fighter Physics Engine would not support the kind of realistic breast physics, physics, my bad, necessary to accurately portray Miss Viper's most interesting animations, all other departments were tasked with overtime work to complete the project. This ultimately bankrupted our primary creative team, resulted in 15 layoffs, 3 suicides, and most disappointingly, absolutely zero frames of completed cleavage animation. This isn't a question, but F you, Namco. That's what the person said. And Namco said, yes, we get that a lot. <sighs> How do I feel about this? I feel like that Gal crap, where they said about Gal's hair can be put in 3D animation, 3D, whatever. That guy, whoever was doing that, he must not have worked on Paul's hair, because Paul's hair is just as similar. Um, and the projectiles, I can see why that could be a problem. I can see why. I can see why that could be a problem. But um, other than that, man. I mean, I was kind of disappointed, but I wasn't really caught off guard by that much, by them saying that this game, Tekken Cross Street Fighter, it's kind of dirty back then, but, um, you know, Tekken Cross Street Fighter is canceled. I wasn't caught off guard by that much because, you know, they weren't really putting out that much stuff. Like, and, and I should have known it because I remember in one magazine they even stated that they had, because uh, I think I had the Game Informer when they were like, we have, you know, nearly 10% of the game assets have been completed. I had, I think I have that Game Informer still. And, you know, they pretty much, you know, winged it through and lied for the camera because they didn't want to, you know, look stupid. But they really shouldn't even have made, they shouldn't even have made, um, they shouldn't have made, you know, that agreement to Capcom to put their version out as soon as Capcom, you know, or as soon, you know, not too long after Capcom puts their version out. So I don't, I don't think that they should have put that out there like that to, to fans. And, you know, I, I hope, you know, I, I just hope that, you know, they're not going to really scrap the stuff that they already made for Tekken Cross Street Fighter. I mean, you know, artwork. I mean, but, you know, I thought Tekken Revol Revolution was supposed to be something towards working with, you know, like an alpha test, beta test game or whatever for, you know, Street Fighter, Tekken Cross Street Fighter. But I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, I didn't expect that from Namco. 
And, for, you know, they said that, you know, more importantly, they got zero frames of completed animation of cleavage animation. Y'all got, y'all said y'all had three people that committed suicide. So, like, that's saying, like, you know, we care more about the product than we do our people. And they probably, you know, really don't care about the fans either. I mean, I don't, I don't got anything against. I don't, I don't think, you know, it's, it's, I don't know who who really wrote all this stuff, man. To be honest, I, you know, might have been Harada, might have been some people who were part of the team for Tekken Cross Street Fighter. I don't know, but I want to know y'all thoughts. That's what I want to know. I want to know what my subscribers and all the viewers out there in the world. I want to know what y'all think about. Second Cross Street Fighter being canceled because a lot of people probably still think that it's it's coming out, but see you have to really search this. The only reason I found out about this is because one of my friends on Facebook was saying you know he had saw a link I guess and he commented and I saw that he had commented on there. I was like hmm, and then from then I wanted to vlog but I never got around to it because with YouTube man lately I know like with my phone it takes like so long it take like a. It takes like an hour, you know what I'm saying, to upload a video. And then the thing is, is like, you have to kind of like keep the app open on the phone. Because if not, it'll like start all the way over. And I'm like, because that one, the Aquapazza video that I put out, I uploaded that thing probably like twice before I actually put it on there. But see, the problem I was having with that is it was uploading two minutes of, it was uploading two minutes of a 10, 10 minute video or whatever. But anyway. This is the Purple Masher, TPM. You look at the video, you be like, oh man.